Hey guys and welcome back to Cora's Creative Corner. Today I'm giving you a one year review on the countertops that I did that began this whole process. These are the original countertops in my master bathroom and this is one year later after we've done everything except the floors. We'll get to that later. But anyways, this is some of the tips and process that we went through. This is what we've done so far and some of the products. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, just comment down below. So it's been a year since we redid our bathroom in here in our master bathroom. And what we ended up doing was we ended up painting all of the cabinets using that gray primer. So as you can see, we used this gripper primer that Home Depot tinted gray for us. We pulled off all of the cabinets and then we put the gray gripper primer on and then we painted them black. In black onyx color, we added some hardware to it as you can see on the handles. And then I added the longer ones here so that they could be used as towel racks, which work out perfectly because there's long ones on each ones underneath the sinks. And then we ended up framing in the mirror. As you can see, we used some trim and I put it on there with some Gorilla Glue and painted it black. And then these are the countertops that we actually painted and use the epoxy on top of. Just to show you the countertops again, it was this peach formica. Then we used the Gianni granite white diamond kit. This is the black primer that comes with it. And then I followed the steps. And then this was without the epoxy, but we decided that after adding all of the veins and all of that hard work that I didn't want it to get messed up or destroyed. So that's when we decided, you know what, let's go with epoxy. So light bulb, thus steps in the epoxy. This is when we decided that we were gonna epoxy everything after we saw the results here and the shine and really the resilience that it gave us. We knew that this was the product that we were going to be using throughout the rest of our renovations. So not only we did we use it here in our master bathroom, but we also used it in our guest bathroom, which we did our tutorial on, and you can go check that out on my YouTube. And it's been a year, so they have held up very, very well. They're still very, very shiny, as you can see, very high gloss. There's been no damages to it. On this particular sink, as you can see, I didn't um, end up caulking it. I just let the caulk that's underneath remain, and that started to yellow. So I'm going to go through and put a white layer of the caulk like I did in the guest bathroom. Now, if we want to clean them, I use anything as far as sanitizing wipes, bleach spray, alcohol. Um, I've used fingernail polish remover if I've gotten a stain on something. But of everything that I have used, the thing that I have found the most beneficial to me that's the quickest in getting any kind of stain out, whether it be a toothpaste stain for my kids or if I've done hair dye and accidentally got it on my countertops, is this. Strange, right? It's a Tanwise tan remover. I got it at Sally's and it removes it so well and it's got such natural ingredients and products in it that I thought I would try it on the countertops and it works like a charm. So that is my go-to for cleaning up any have stains. So you might recognize this sink or countertop space from the video. I can't believe it. We got over 100,000 views. If you haven't already watched it, you can go check it out. But ah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching it. You guys are amazing. I love you. Thanks. This is my kid's bathroom, the guest bathroom. And as you can see, it has some toothpaste stains on the counters. I've tried using everything else to get it off and it won't come out. I've used hand sanitizer, alcohol, bleach, and what have you, and it's not coming out. So I thought I would go ahead and give you a demonstration of how I'm going to use 
that to get it out because I have had people asking me what happens if you do get a stain on it. So as you can see, it's like this green goopy stuff. I just put some on there and I'm just going to scrub it out and it's going to come out so easily that it's annoying. So there's that one. There's the other one. They're everywhere, like if you see all the pink spots. So I just want to scrub it until I get it all out. It has like a um, texture to it, almost like an exfoliating scrub. Um, so it's, it does have a texture to it, but it doesn't scratch or ruin the finish, luckily. So that's one of the reasons I really like it. And I can use more product if I need to. But if you see, those are all gone. The big pink spot that was there. So I just need to use a little more of that last spot there. And as you can see, I did caulk around the edge of this sink and it has a much cleaner looking edge. So I have had people asking me that. Do you have to caulk around the sink? That's totally optional. I've done it in this bathroom and I've done it in our kitchen around the sink. And I'll show you that one too. But like I said, totally optional. Alright, so all of these little stains are gone. It's their toothpaste. Like, it's so ridiculous. I just use their toothpaste, whatever it is that has that red color. It stains every time they get it on the counters. Why they're getting it all over the countertops is another story. Like, I still don't understand, but they do. Yeah. So pretty. And another question people ask me is what did I do the um, side of the backsplash with? And I did the same technique as I did down here except the epoxy went down here and only a clear coat went up there because it's a little too heavy. You'll get this drip look effect if you put the epoxy up here. It's just too heavy. So that's just a thin clear coat that came with the Gianni kit, or you can use polyacrylic. Now here is our kitchen transformation. This was the before when we bought it. This is what it looked like when we moved in. The cabinets were all this like light oak color. The countertops were that peachy formica color. And then we just went ahead and started the process of using our gripper primer again. We painted the cabinets with that black onyx color in the satin. And we did a couple coats of that. Then we got some new appliances and some hardware. Here's where we got our faucet on Amazon. And then I got all of the hardware throughout the house that we used in all the bathrooms and in the kitchen to make it cohesive. I got those online at Amazon. And here is the information there. So you can see I saved a lot of money by purchasing this stuff and installing it ourselves. Then we went ahead and started to prime the countertops. And I used the black primer that came in the Gianni kit. And we loved it so much that we went ahead and covered it with the epoxy. Here's the epoxy that we used in our kitchen on the countertops. And this is the result. Look at that glare. I mean, we loved it. I, I love it. To show you an example of what happens if you don't use enough epoxy. For instance, if you get a little skimpy or you get close to the edge and it kind of um, dries up without it, you get what we call these little dips or dimples. So that's why we always say plenty, 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 plenty of epoxy. Be generous. If done properly and you have enough, you get it all the way to the edge and it gives you this very smooth finish, you see. No dimples there. Here was when the epoxy was wet and you can see that we had enough that it leaked over the edge and gave us a smooth finish. And yes, this is food prep friendly material. We wouldn't have used it if we didn't believe in the product. So we did check those ingredients. And then we went ahead and decided that, you know what, let's do some backsplash because it was missing that little bit of oomph. We used pennies as our or as our um, spacers and then we got our tile at Home Depot as you saw. We used the Snow White Grout here and and the result is just gorgeous. I mean, everything was pretty much perfect, almost perfect. I love it. Everything except 
the floors. So that is what we are currently working on. We went ahead and got our flooring at Floor and Decor in Orlando, and I believe it was the Rustic Hickory Laminate, and we are applying it all ourselves. We went ahead and pulled up all of the nasty linoleum and carpeting throughout the house, and we purchased enough to cover all of our flooring in the home. And as you can see here, we did do all of the work ourselves. That included taking off all of our baseboards, labeling everything so we knew how to put it back, trimming anything that needed to be trimmed, and doing all of the math and the cutting ourselves. So to all of my students from back in the day who asked, when will I ever use this math in real life? Well, here, my friends, here, my students, this is when. Here is real life. So look at that. I mean, if it weren't for math and my husband's saw work, this flooring would not look as gorgeous as it is, but my knees aren't so happy. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this one year review and the tips that I kind of had. I also threw in some of the products and where you can get them. And then if you want to stay tuned, I will throw in some of our DIY fam pictures from their own tutorials where they sent me their photos of where they watched the video and they tried it at home and what their results were. So you can get an idea of how you can transform your countertops at home and if other people are doing it, how they're coming out. And let me just show you, they look amazing. These ladies did an excellent job. I tagged them. So go check those ladies out. I put their Instagram names on there so you can check them out at their own page and see their results. And if you like that or have questions on there specifically, you know where to find them. If you have questions for me, just drop a comment down below. And I am so happy that you guys stopped by and watched this one. Please subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will check you next time. So here is our first one. This is a local girl here, a friend of mine actually, and she redid her entire bathroom countertop as you can see I mean look how gorgeous that is and she did a different type of sink as you can see here hers went inside and she used the epoxy just the same she just removed the sink and faucet and then let the epoxy drip through and then replaced it and then here is another one this girl is on Instagram you can go check her out Tabitha here is another one. This one is just stunning to me. This is a total transformation of my eyes, cabinets, countertops, and all of the works. You can check her out. This is Georgie Girl. And I mean, that veining is just stunning. And again, that epoxy. And then this is another friend of mine here from town who um, does a vlog and she does like where she gives you money saving tips and ways to save money and stuff and she worked on a renovation and reached out to me and this was her transformation so her kids bathroom went to a guest bathroom and then you can go check her out on Instagram and then lastly this was my last YouTube tutorial it was the acrylics dupe version of the Gianni white diamond kit and I think it came out just as stunning and just as gorgeous and I even compared the thin clear coat that comes with the kit to the epoxy and so you can compare and see the difference in the grainy thin coat versus the epoxy and the difference that that gives and I just think it's huge and I hope you guys enjoy I hope you go check that out it is a long one so bring your coffee and if you have any questions again leave them down below I'm so happy you stopped by I've got a few ideas for some of my next videos like for instance I'm thinking of doing an upholstery video where we do a king sized bed frame and we cover it with this beautiful gray fabric and then we use these nail head trim to give it some pretty details. I've also been considering doing a hair transformation tutorial where I went from a dark red brunette to this platinum ombre rose gold type color. So if you would be interested in seeing that tutorial let me know down below. Give me your vote yes or no. Here are some of the products that I used and I did it safely without damaging my hair. I'll also leave the links for the video for my brand comparison video with the epoxy and the Gianni Granite as well as my tutorial for the backsplash if you want to check those out. Thanks again for stopping by at Cora's Creative Corner. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye!